Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video guys, we will show you, it will be super helpful video, how to test knock sensor on a BMW guys, six cylinder gasoline engine guys. Uh, we'll demonstrate on N51, N52, N53, N54, N55 engines. All this will be covered today guys. How to tell if a knock sensor is good or bad and all that guys will share with you so you don't know for sure and you don't have to waste your money. Now, quick introduction to the channel. Every single car we get at the job, we make at least 200 free repair videos specifically on BMWs. We make more than four or 500 videos. Why we do all that guys? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video so we can keep providing that free information. Now. If you guys need to buy any of the tools that we'll be using to test the sensors or you need to buy new knock sensors, parts, tools, check out guys the links in the description of the video below, we share them for your convenience. Let me show you what we have here now. Specifically we have a BMW N52 engine. This is straight six cylinder gasoline engine guys that we'll demonstrate on. Now let's explain what the knock sensor quick does guys. Okay, and uh, why it's so important for the uh, for your engine to run at its best. Now, if you have a bad knock sensor, replace it guys. Okay, we have a video that explains the consequences and how you can spend thousands of, do thousands of dollars if you do not replace knock sensor for only a few bucks. Now, uh, the video is on the channel. Okay, put can I drive with a bad knock sensor? Okay, or just, uh, I'll try to share the link in the description of the video below. On the six cylinder engine, on uh, uh, straight six cylinder or inline six cylinder engine guys, you, you have two knock sensors, one here, bank one, one for bank two, one is for the first half of the engine, cylinder one, two and three, and one is for the second half, cylinder number three, four and five guys. Now, what the sensor does, it's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like guys ears for your engine okay it's going to listen for knocks that uh, those knocks guys okay uh, they're actually produced by early explosion okay when the fuel and uh, air ignites a little bit earlier than it should that sounds like knock vibration the sensor detects that vibration and sends a signal to the engine computer to adjust the ignition timing so that doesn't happen otherwise guys you can cause your damage uh, your engine now let us explain you guys, okay, BMWs, their sensors, they come in pair of two, okay. Some engines have single one, but the N51 all the way to N55, they come in a pair of two, and they come to one connector. It may be like this, it may be round, but uh, just follow the wire for one of the sensors, and you will have two wires for each sensor. Uh, the left pairs will be for one sensor, the right pair will be for the other sensor. So, now guys, we want to explain how we're going to test it. We get the multimeter here. If you're guys on the market for amazing multimeter, we'll have the link in the description of the video below. Nothing sponsored here, but this is probably the best tool that we've owned for uh, that specific purpose. I'll click, okay, right here, select to convert to DC voltage. We're going to, uh, we're going to guys, okay, connect the wires to the knock sensor. Okay, and let me see which one it is. Okay, we should be working on the little one right here. Okay, perfect. Now, I will get the meter here so you can see. That sensor will produce some electricity, not much. But if I tap on it with a metal tool, okay, I want to show you guys how actually it's going to produce voltage. So, so we have guys the leads. Okay, I had to reposition them. They weren't contacting good. We have some voltage. Check it out. Usually it will stay about the same, almost around 29 for hours, but it doesn't matter. That could be affected by temperature and many factors. But now I want to show you what's going to happen if I tap on it with a metal tool now. Just gently tap on it. Okay, check it out, guys. Okay, let me adjust the light so you can see better. Okay, you can see how this thing, okay, moves, guys. Okay, 500, five, you can see 50, 60, okay, 90, okay, the harder I hit it, the more it produces, guys, so that's a good sensor. Now, if the sensor is not uh, moving at all, if it's not changing anything, that's definitely, guys, not a good sensor, so uh, even if it's uh, not in the air, if you tap on it, okay, it should change, you can see 60, 70 again, so definitely, guys, good sensor here. Hopefully, the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more help and see you guys next time.